for me, please? Yes, absolutely. And can you please ask the host to allow my friend who is a major big time YouTuber, his name is Duty Ron, he's requesting to join here. Uh, this is World War Wade and we are storming the beaches of Normandy. Let's go, let Duty Ron in. Um, he's very respectful if you can ask the host to allow him to join. Yeah. Well, Sarah, der ist ein großer YouTuber, der möchte gerne auf den Chat aufkommen. Er hat ganz höflich gefragt, er ist ein sehr zivilisierter Mensch, ob ihn bitte einladen würde, und rauflässt. Sarah? Okay. Ist das Aber der ehemalige Polizist? Jump to Pablo, she said absolutely. I don't know, uh, what was his name or who is he? I'm, I'm his name is Duty, Duty Ron, D-U-T-Y R-O-N, Duty Ron. Yeah. Claudia? Claudia? Yeah. Yes. Ist das Hello? der ehemalige Polizist? There we go. I don't know. Uh, is he Getting the? Uh, Let's go. That's him. You got him. Thank you. Okay. You got him. Okay. So, ich wollte jetzt noch mal eben kurz sagen, dass ich den Punkt jetzt mal anschneiden möchte, weil das ein Punkt ist, der ja nicht in das Puzzle reinpasst. Darüber haben wir ja diskutiert, wenn ihr da mir recht gibt, gebt, 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 gebt. Nein, aber ich sag mal gebt, gebt. Ich habe das mal gebt. Hallo, Leute, seid ihr da? Sarah. Wir sind da, wir sind alle da. Ja, ja so, also, ich muss mich mal ein bisschen engagieren, weil ich bin am Übersetzen, um ihm zu sagen, damit alle auch respektiert, richtig behandelt werden in der Form, äh, respektiert werden, besser gesagt. Um, so, John to Pablo, just to explain, I just explained it in German. Now I would like to bring the question back. So, this is a discussion, like I said, I just want to repeat that. The ladies are interested in the case itself. For example, there's a question that I would like to raise. So, for example, if you remember, um, I don't know when, where, I'm just sporadically checking on it, that the house from his, I believe, adoptive parents burned down, believe me, right? Do you know that story? Yes, I do. Okay, so what I heard, the question is that it's very interesting that the house of their parents over sudden burned down, and right after that happened, that's when Wade Wilson changed his story and said he's going to tell the truth and he's going to bring evidence. That's how this discussion started, just to explain that to you, okay? Well, that's not entirely accurate because okay. he had already confessed to three different people before the house burned down. And then, like you're saying, the house burned down and then he wanted to confess to detectives. He had already confessed in graphic and unsympathetic detail to three different people as soon as he had got locked up before any house burned down uh, as to what he did. And, but, like, isn't it more likely that his parents' house burned down because he did this, like, killed random people? Come on. What's more likely? Duty Vaughn is a former uh, NYPD detective uh, with the NYPD uh, police force, and uh, I'd like to know what he thinks about that or what he has to say about that. Go ahead, Duty. Okay. Hello. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you guys. Um, so a, a couple of things. I came in kind of late to this thing, so I don't know how this all started and what the conversation is, but I get the, get, I get the gist of the conversation. But what I can add to this is, as Jumpsu Pablo said, is I'm a retired New York City police detective. So it's the largest municipal police department in the United States. Um, so when it comes down to justice here in america now you guys are from germany and we get that but this case is not a case that happened in germany this is a, ca a case that happened here in the united states under the united states the right. law states that you are to be judged by a jury of your peers those are people who know nothing about the case who are summoned to come to court hear all of the evidence that is presented by the state that's the state of Florida. They present the evidence to a jury of Wade Wilson's peers. They presented the evidence and the evidence was overwhelming. It was so overwhelming that Wade Wilson's a defense attorney said that we have no defense to this. The cell phones that he had in his possession. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty shit <laughs> defense attorney. Cause you're supposed to come up with something, but yeah, that's crazy showed tracked his movements it's called geofencing geofencing showed that wade wilson was in each location where the murders happened the evidence which is dna that's from our cellular from our bodies his dna is on the victims no other person's dna is on the victims 
this is stuff that you didn't hear about in court because it didn't have to be presented. It was presented to his defense because you see here in America, you have to give all discovery. The discovery means all of the evidence has to be given to the defense. Wade Wilson's attorneys got all of the discovery before this trial started and they looked at it and had time to look it over and they said, oh, we have no defense to this. Our client, Wade Wilson, confessed to numerous people, people who are civilians, his, his biological father, his girlfriend Mila, detectives uh, on numerous occasions. That Putting that aside, all of the evidence, that cellular evidence, that is a timestamp. He had Christine Melton's phone uh, in his possession at her home where he murdered her, and then he left with that phone to all these different locations calling his girlfriend, calling. When he murdered the second victim, Diane Ruiz, Christine Melton's phone is on his body. And those movements are all shown in the, in the, fen, in the geofencing warrant. So it, for anybody here, and I'm not trying to disparage anybody, but for anybody here to even think, I don't care where you live in this world, for you to hear that and to know that, that's the truth, that's the facts. For you to hear that and say, well, there has to be somebody else or he is not guilty of it or any kind of variation. He is found guilty by a jury of his peers. That's our that's the laws of our land, United States Constitution. That's what you're afforded. That's what he got. He got a fair and impartial tr uh, jury. He got a trial that was uh, that was done uh, professionally. And there was nothing f there was nothing for gazy about it. And for gazy <laughs> means funny or tricks or anything like that. He was given good representation and he was found guilty. He was sentenced to death and that's what happens here. We're not in Germany. We're not in anywhere else. This is the United States of America and that's how it happens. If you can't swallow that pill or accept it, that's on you. And I'm not saying, I'm not disparaging or putting anybody down here, but those are the facts and there is nothing to debate there is nothing that needs to be said after this because he has his appeal process, which is another right under the laws and constitutions of the United States. He's going to get those appeal processes, and that's why it's going to take 20 years for them to put him down. And when he gets put down, all of his appeal processes will be exhausted, and he'll have all of the, the, all of the laws and all of the the justice system that he's afforded and all of his appeal process, they'll be exhausted. And then, and he's got crazy amounts of money right now to actually have a good appeals lawyer go over it. You know, so if there's really something there, they should find it. He's got hundreds of thousands right now. When that happens, that'll be it. Stop, Case please. Over. Stop please a moment, Claudia. Yes. <laughs> Kannst du einmal sagen, dass er sich all kürzer all machen soll, dass wir immer English. Übersetzungspausen machen yeah. können? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, understand yeah. English. If I, if I, if I, sorry. Thank you very much for your commentary there, um, Steffi. The the moderator is asking if you can, if you uh, give some sentences or some explanations. If you can take a break so I can translate it to them and we can go back and forward like tic tac toe and play tennis. If that's okay with you, well, um, well. and not in like I said. Um, so I understand exactly what you're saying. I live in the United States. I'm from Germany, but I lived here for 25 years, so I'm very familiar with the laws of the land. I live here. I'm also a U.S. citizen, FYI, to you. So I understand all of that stuff you said. I'm more She's of an so fucking tool condescending here. and narcissistic and like just a bitch. Like shut up. Go back to Germany, honestly. To explain the laws into my country, my original country, um, and those worlds, if that makes sense. I'm more like a between here, the bridge. Um, to bring clarification and also to translate certain things. Why these are two very, very different worlds. Just for a side note, I'm going to translate this to the ladies, if I may, for a second. Um, okay, Leute. So er hat jetzt einfach in der Form ganz genau erklärt. Er ist also ein ex police polizist in New York City. Um, und er hat eben ganz kurz erklärt. Um, er wollte erklären, um, dass in Amerika gewisse Gesetze existieren die in der Form einen gewissen Aussatz haben, in der Form, dass alle Beweise, so wie er das weiß, die DNA-Proben, DNA-Proben, 
äh, Blutvergleich, dass sein Telefon gemerkt worden ist an dem Tag, wo das passiert ist und dass sein Telefon, sein Handy äh, genau da war, wo das dann auch alles passiert ist in der Form. Dass also, wie gesagt, alles genauso geometrisch ausgelegt wurde als Beweismaterial und hat gesagt, dass seine Anwälte keine Möglichkeiten hatten, irgendwas zu verteidigen, weil alles war so vorgelegt, ein Klart, sagen wir richtig, ähm, dass da in der Form keine Lücke war, um äh, zu beweisen, dass seine Unschuld vorliegt. Und er sagte nur, er wollte erklären, dass, wie gesagt, die Gesetze hier anders sind und dass gewisse Sachen vorgelegt werden bei Gericht, das ist Standard für diese Strafe, die einfach nicht nur dahingegeben werden, sondern dass alle Institutionen sehr intensiv das ausarbeiten und alles kontrollieren in der Form, bevor sie diese Sprache eben anlegen als Beispiel. Und dass sein Anwalt keine Möglichkeit hatte, in der, in der momentan einen Einspruch einzulegen, war alles dementsprechend. Oh no. Hey. Hey, what's going on? The question is that it's very interesting that the house of their parents over sudden burn. You guys are from Germany. And we get that. But this case shows, because you see, that, his girlfriend guilty of it. So all of the, the moderator is asking if you can, if you uh, give some sentences or some explanations, if you can take a break so I can translate <laughs> haben alles vorgelegt, das heißt, alles passte genau zusammen, um für den Richter diese Entscheidung zu fällen. Und das wollte ich einfach mal erklären, ähm, weil in Deutschland das anders ist als in Amerika. Und er wollte einfach nur mal als offizieller Polizist erklären, wie die Gesetze hier gehen, dass es ganz anders ist als wie in Deutschland. So, das wollte ich mal kurz sagen. Claudia, guckst du wow. dir gerade das Video an von Pablo? <lacht> Yes, ma'am. Can I speak? Yes. Or do they not have a sense okay. of humor? Come Sorry. on. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. So I just translated what um, your friend. Sorry, I don't look on the screen while I'm talking. Uh, I'm talking into my microphone. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. They're they're weird. Uh, go ahead. No, I ju they just said your video or some camera happened. I said I didn't see anything. Oh, I, don't I'm know. I don't know. No, I don't know what they're talking about. It's been on me the whole time. No, that was weird. weird. To the yeah, wrong details, okay. jumpsuit. Yeah, yeah, I don't I, know. What I, it's been on me the whole time. I don't, I don't know, know what happened. Like I said, I didn't see it, so I just looked at my phone just a second ago. So I just translated your statement to the ladies in the chat um, of what you said about the loss, et cetera, and your position to the case. So what I explained before, it, before it's not came, my position. It, it, it's not my position. It's the facts of the case. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, this has got nothing to do that. with position. Let me, well, let me just let me just be clear. Be let me just be clear. Be I'm not trying be to be hostile. It's, it's got nothing to do with my position. Those are the facts. I understand, but I... I can understand and respect your facts. What I would like to do is, can we have a kindness? It's not a kindness? position. It's not a position. It's the facts. Okay, it's the facts. What, what they, I understand what, they, what, what I'm saying. Say. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts, ma'am. If I may finish my sentence respectfully. What they I, say? What I'm saying is I respect your opinion, your statement as facts. It's not an opinion. It's facts. It's facts. What I'm saying is they have questions. They understand so. English. They understand us. Yeah, not all of them. And I do me a favor if you kindly could be kind. You have a very forceful approach to that. Let's be open and nice and kind. Oh about kindness God. is really nice in this world. Really much needed right now. To be just nice and have a nice conversation. I'm trying to do my best here to communicate between so two what, worlds. What, what, what did they say um, to, to, to all that? Okay, that's what I'm trying to get to you. One second, please. Um, okay. Kann ich eine Response kriegen von euch bitte, weil ich bin nur am... Jawohl! Wir sind da! Bitte was? Ja, aber sitzt mal kurz. Was, was wollt ihr jetzt wissen? Er wollte wissen, was eure Reaktion dazu ist, was ich gerade übersetzt habe. Wie er sagte, das sind die Fakten, die vorgelegt worden sind. Und es ist keine Meinung, es ist ein Faktum. Ich habe ihn gerade richtig gestellt, in der von Wirklichkeit in diesem Chat ja, das also meine, ja. gesagt. Die Fakten wurden vorgelegt im Kurs. Ich würde gerne wissen, wie er das macht. 
Ähm, das heißt, er vertritt. Da wurde doch trotzdem noch eine weitere DNA gefunden. Die, the chat, I'm just speaking for everybody, it's easier that way. Um, the chat um, heard your facts and the question they have in response is, there was... It's going to be something dumb and it's not going to... Oh, it's, I can already tell how dumb their question is going to be. Supposedly another point of DNA has been found and that doesn't has not been investigated there was another dna found so and that's the question they're raising like why is there another dna that was not investigated how can that happen if everything was kind of factual and that is the end of this conversation kind of sort of in the fact of the case why is that there that's the question i can i can answer that unless you want to answer it jumpsuit go ahead okay so if there was in fact any other dna that was found his defense would have argued it that was not argued i i believe that the the yep. dna that you're referring to is something that you guys are all thinking it exists if it existed and it was part of something that could be brought up in the court of law while the trial was going on his defense would have brought that up but okay. because they have but because they didn't bring that up it doesn't exist because okay, the trial is over the trial okay. is over. Calling me. Let me please transmit to the ladies and ask where this came from. So maybe that would bring some clarification. Leute, ich habe die Frage gestellt. Die Frage ist jetzt, uh, könnt ihr euch daran erinnern oder weiß es vielleicht von euch jemand, wo dementsprechend diese Information herkam, wo diese dritte DNA gefunden worden ist oder wie auch immer, wo war das? Wisst ihr das? Bei dem ersten Opfer. Okay, so um, translate back to you, gentlemen. So the uh, response was that at the first victim, victim A had additional DNA that was not investigated. That's what they brought up. That's a fact. And nobody pointed it out. So I don't know. That's the question that they have. Well, I, I think uh, Christine Melton I, I would never refer to her as victim A. That's severely disrespectful. I don't know what, what, that's your perception. I mean, I don't know, I don't, I don't know where that comes from, but Christine Melton, uh, if there was any other DNA, she had a home where probably other people were welcome, where people weren't there to rape and assault her or have their way with her and then assault her and kill her. So if there was other DNA, it, there's, there's five sets of DNA in my home here uh, from my family. Um, you rule out who is not a suspect and you take the DNA that's there, that is not only there and on that scene, at that murder scene number one, victim number one, who is Christine Melton, and then you take that same DNA and find it on a second victim who is Diane Ruiz, not victim B, it's Diane Ruiz, and you say, what a reasonable person would say is that Wade Wilson's DNA is on both of these murder scenes, not the other DNA that was at someone's house from people that come to visit. And here's, anybody that's there. Okay. Here's, so, here's my thing, here's what I don't understand. Everyone, uh, everyone besides me and Duty Ron and you uh, ma'am who's translating uh, everyone who is opposing us in this discussion it seems to be the collective uh, idea that they don't think Wade Wilson is totally innocent they just think there are other people involved and that he only had something to do with it as a part of multiple people having something to do with it which i don't believe but here's my question i don't understand if wade wilson had a part in the murders of two women why are you on here making your usernames and tiktok account uh please stop turning my microphone off while i'm talking moderator thank you um <laughs> wow why are you on here making your usernames, profile pictures, and your entire TikTok, TikTok accounts? 
in support of Wade Wilson if he had only a smile, if three people had something to do with the murder of two women, why are you supporting either one of them? <clears throat> Amen. Okay, let me yeah. translate that, please. Okay. Um, and in chat, when the frage is, uh, right, I gotta go, guys. I'm getting out of here. Right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Good night. Um, der Polizist hat äh, geäußert, dass in der Christine Rees Wohnung, glaube ich, als Beispiel, wo ihr gemeint habt, da war ein anderes DNA, correct? War das mhm. richtig? Ja. Ähm, dass er sagte, dass <lacht> das mag ja so sein, weil mehrere Menschen in ihrer Wohnung sie ihn besucht haben oder sie besucht haben, besser gesagt. Aber der ausschlaggebende Punkt war im Gericht, dass Wade for this emotional hearing for over Okay, so that was that. I'm exhausted. I've been recording videos all day. I'm finna go chill. I hope y'all like that. That was crazy. They're all capped. They all speak English. What y'all think? Uh, is this is World War Wade? Are we reinvading the beaches of Normandy to take Germany back from all of the, the Wade wives? Or what's going on? Let me know what you like. Let me know what you didn't like. Most importantly, like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe. Have a blessed night. Peace.